Today we're continuing on with our Flycorp uh, Discover the World starting from Australia. And we hit today with a little bit more sense of optimism uh, with our new setup of two planes going from Rome. That has dropped us below 20,000. Um, now I've just changed, at the end of the last episode, we just changed from going from Brasilia. Whoop. Um, going from Brasilia uh, to Suriname to get through on this lower route. And you can see that currently there are planes very empty. And I would say what that's done is that that shift suddenly made all of those people who would have been going to Brasilia revert for some reason back to this top route. Uh, and it will only be new passengers that will now go through Suriname. So, sure, you do you, as long as we're still going down. Um, there's 103, so at least some people are going in that way, and within a few minutes, I would say we should see that jump up a bit more. And we've also suddenly hit a point where we are making money. Um, you can see we have quite a, a hearty amount there. So we are going to, um, after a few episodes where we have done not much of anything, we are finally going to get to start opening countries. Bit of a journey these guys are having to make. Okay. So just well make sh uh, make hay where the sun shines and just bring in be quick. Um, countries because ideally what we want to do is we want to continue down here we want to make it all the way over to Cape Verde and then make that our long route across the um, uh, across the Atlantic and just a quick update on these guys it'll only take about 118 but um, you should still be seeing that get better that's still not moving anywhere, so we are we are holding it in a nice spot. All right, Sweden. Now I would say Sweden can be a little bit of a hub where it is, so we'll go straight from Kiev. Um, we'll give it four planes. I won't connect it to Paris because I'd say we'll use um, Berlin in the middle of these, but Norway and at least we'll connect through Sweden. We might give them a second way out through Moscow. Now, with this sudden injection of cash too, let's try and make a bit more of a connection across this way. So we'll go Colombo to Kuala Lumpur. Give them four planes, upgrade them. And then I'm also gonna go Colombo over there. So we'll wait till we've got 18,000. Um, we'll make that join so that not everyone has to go all the way up through um, these same single lines. So again, just an update, how we doing? So, still moving some passengers. Um, we should see this go up, I guess, a little bit. Although, the other thing that we can take away is that since last time, we have we're done with Melbourne. Melbourne has removed all of the planes that were holding its um it was trying to travel over to South America and you can see there are now no red planes um all the way up to here in Southeast Asia. So we are pretty clear um for um For all that excess that was sitting in in Melbourne, so the worst, hopefully, it, like as long as these guys can hold just more than steady, then um, then there shouldn't be a huge bulk of um, travelers still arriving. We are just waiting though to see these red planes heading to Suriname. Because the primary people that 
place that people are going. Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires. I don't know where Borgata is. Let's just pause you for a second. So, Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires, Rio de Janeiro. Like all of these places, is Lima over there. So for Lima, I would say that, yeah, you're coming down this way. But for all the other ones, you want to go the other way. So there should actually be a bit more of a split than what we're seeing. Like, there's all these people going to Sao Paulo that were like, no, no, I was promised that I was going to go through Venezuela. So I'm going to wait until that becomes available. And only new passengers are actually accepting the, the faster, significantly more logical route. Um, so I needed 17,000 for something, didn't I? And that was this. I'll be a new deli. Make you a little bit bigger. A lot of people going to Calcutta from New Delhi. So that's this route here. Sorry, I didn't mean to only boost that one plane. Um, boost everyone. We'll give them a third plane because obviously it's a pretty significant amount of people that are wanting to travel just from New Delhi to here. And it's just those two um, airports that, that is that connection. In a way as well that I wonder if I should make Hyderabad have that. Let's do that as well. anything except all the money we paid. <laughs> Alright, how's our update going here? We want to basically see them going up. So like 150 or so people. Although, the fact that they aren't going up suggests that there's not um, a lot of new passengers coming in yet. It is just the whole backlog that we're waiting on. I mean, as long as that, that top line is taking out... Um, that guy's sort of yellowy. What have you got? 118. And we did see it. Um, the last time I removed the line and added a new one. It did take a little while, but we, um, we got to see red planes on both. that line yet. There's nothing else around here, but that'll come soon enough. But hopefully what it does mean is that the product, because the majority of new passengers will want to take um, Syria. Um, we go. Okay. So, all we should need to do then, because there are ways around Damascus, um, all we need to do is really just get all these guys to connect. To an alternate place. And we can work around that. Yeah, we did see this when I rejoined the Brasilia um, line. There was um, it took a little while before we started seeing red planes heading back towards Brasilia, and that's going to go up until um, they correct that. Really. So I guess now that we're seeing that that's hitting about twenty three thousand, that's where this is becoming critical that these guys do actually start to. Um, to send passengers correctly. And at least, at least 
is someone's going. Click on the plane. We do need to see those numbers start to go up. Alright. Because there's nothing that we can do. That's at max level. If that doesn't start to correct, uh, we're going to have problems. Okay, so Berlin. Berlin will connect to Paris. Berlin will connect to Rome. Berlin will connect to Kiev. Berlin will connect to Stockholm. Amazed that it hasn't ever sort of thrown um, China at us yet. We sort of merrily went past China and um, haven't been burdened by the extreme amount of um, uh, cities and flight paths that we would get out of there. Instead, it's been quite nice to us and giving us Libya next, which is moving us towards where we want to be. It does now feel like it's becoming more critical than while we have not enough guys leaving on the southern line. Or as we can start, uh, it'll be soon that we can start having Oktoberfest um, events. Just up those jets. Let's get that them moving because it seems like Turan is just got way too much heading south that it's not getting rid of. Let's help them just speed that process up. Similar to um, Germany, we'll make a little grid for Tripoli. See many other cities between Egypt and Libya. Aruba, so we're now going to be moving into um, the islands. Now, these ones will be a whole lot of little places that we can just sort of connect back to a single point that um, strategically aren't going to help us too much, but will um, give us a lot more time, I guess, because it'll just be one airport, um, one short path. so we're gonna stick down here for a minute and we're still not seeing these red planes coming out of here yet but it's not a lot of people I don't understand what the logic is it's not happy with because it is now getting critical but, um, 
they need to be going to the right place. They need to start using this southern line. Um, because otherwise we're gonna, we're gonna just completely collapse. So now I feel like what I've got to do is just hold, um, still for a second, gain some money. So this route's become more significant as more of Europe's opened up. What I said about saving money and then had to spend it immediately. We have pro this is now a problem. You need to be taking passengers to the places that they want to go. But I was being really clever getting to add that and shorten that trip. Instead, you're just not using it. What's the what's the um logic behind it? Like, am I just gonna have to reintroduce Brasilia for the third time? Because if I do that, then no one's gonna use the other the other route. If I sell that plane, that's not really gonna like do much here because this guy's just not gonna take anything. Like 28 people. I don't get why they figured it out eventually with Brasilia, and with this one they're just like, no, 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 we're going the long way. We insist. I do love the little flurry of green planes just leaving and actually clearing out all the guys that just got delivered. I don't like that that guy is not leaving with anywhere near the amount of people that he should be. I feel like what I have to do is go from Libya just direct to Sao Paulo, just to take the people wanting to go to Sao Paulo to a different place. But, that would also then, like, completely change that everyone, um, would go, you know what, it's actually faster to go to Sao Paulo. Actually, you know what I could do? So I could delete Sao Paulo from connecting to anywhere else in South America. And so that only people going to Sao Paulo could go through Tripoli. Hold on for a bit longer. Again, it's more a question of whether these guys on the bottom end just figure it out. And he's not. How is that to there? To there, to there, not faster. And going from there to there to there to there to there to there to there. Again, still green heading out. Just in time for this guy? Yep. Okay, so.
I think Somaliland is just an extra route, so that's okay. Everyone can work around Somaliland not being part of this. Okay. Tripoli to Sao Paulo. Quickly get Quetta sorted out. Not sure that I actually have time to get somewhere like Quetta sorted out. I need this guy to just get out with his plane load. Just shaking my head at that still. So they're leaving with nothing. Figure it out. Okay. Sao Paulo. Level 5 plane. I'm selling that route. I am going to up Tripoli to as quickly a 3,000 seat place. Upgrade that plane. see, hopefully, is that people from Sao Paulo start to be shifted from here to somewhere else. You should see a red plane heading south, but we're not. Now, my concern now means that this actually says that these people going to Sao Paulo actually have to go to... Um, you know what? I've made a mistake there. What I should have done is I should have just disconnected Sao Paulo and then just made it an exclusive line from Rome because then those people would, would still travel maybe. Because this is insane if no one is going to leave Rome to go to Sao Paulo when they can't get to Sao Paulo any other way. get back for this 24,000 I might just have to sell it and try this again because it's crazy I'm just going to try and gain like 20,000 again merrily wait to see some people that go on to Sao Paulo there we go okay we are getting drops of people um That are being delivered to go to Sao Paulo there. And that number is now... I will wait till we've got enough people, like more than a plane load. So this is how fast new people are wanting to go to Sao Paulo. So wherever these guys aren't taking new passengers, I have no idea. I don't understand what their grief is. All right, more than 600 people ready to go. So let's buy another plane, upgrade them. now means that anyone wanting to go um, to uh, Sao Paulo from anywhere else and say Brazil now has to go all the way around but like I'll eat that at the moment that's fine and now we have red planes coming south from here occasionally Sao Paulo drop thousand there. Quick.
crazy to me that this is still as much a problem as it always was. I mean, it's not crazy. The reason it's not crazy is because it's just this number's not going away. Like, the worst one, those 7,000 people should be moving south down to here, and they're not. Instead, seemingly what they're doing is they're being flown across um, here. So we can see there's 111 people waiting to go to Sao Paulo. 112. So the question will be, those people probably just got dropped. Um, you can see he didn't take them. So what's happening is that those passengers for Sao Paulo are being taken across to... Um, being taken across the Atlantic and then being flown back and then being flown south. So it's this really weird process of those guys clearing out by them needing to make the journey across the Atlantic twice before they will then um, know where they're supposed to. Which is also why this guy maybe isn't as efficient as he otherwise should be, but I'm not going to get rid of that line. Again, this guy is just living on the skin of his teeth. Because we should see, say, this number of Sao Paulo people go up really suddenly. Another 200. And then those 200 are then going to... They disappear? No, so a different 200 have now been taken. And there's the red plane taking those 100 passengers now south. Uh, that have cleared customs of making it to South America before returning to Rome to head south and head to Sao Paulo. So it's a double waste of just the resources available on planes heading over to South America, like trying to clear out what's happening in Rome. Luckily, Caracas doesn't um, seem to mind too much, but... Finally, we've got Palestine sitting right in the middle here. Oh, two quick little um, country gains there. Oh, what an insane waste of time Sao Paulo is causing the rest of this. And that's the basically the issue I guess everyone else is having too. I don't understand why new passengers yet aren't taking the um the line to Surinam. Um like why uh people haven't shifted over to just correctly using the more efficient one. Um I have no doubt in my mind this is faster to get to various parts of um, the majority of the, the South American places that are, are key in, in overflowing here. a red plane hanging out for a red plane to go. I mean, at least they're taking something. And the, the crazy thing is that it will get better once Sao Paulo is gone because all of these planes, like a hundred or two hundred of their people that they're taking are people going to Sao Paulo. And it's just filling space on those planes until they come back, drop them off, and then send them through Tripoli. And at least we can see that Tripoli's got a little bit of a backlog, so that we know that at least... Um, there is work to be done for Sao Paulo. 
All right, let's uh, bring in Slovenia. Let's double check to make sure we survive another moment of... Um, Slovenia, sort of a bit far away from everyone. But we'll go Rome. And we'll call it there uh, for another session. We've uh, got to open a few more countries there. We've got to do a little bit of infrastructure improvement. I think this Sao Paulo direct line will slowly um, clear out Rome slowly because of the way the AI is, or the logic of it's doing it. But uh, any questions or comments, thank you for that money. Um, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.